Hello everyone, welcome back to my J Physics channel. In this channel, I am really uh, committed for the best content to the student. So here is the question uh, as a part of J Advanced series. Uh, this is very logical question related to simple pendulum. So all of you go through the question once and uh, try it once, uh, try it once and come back for the solution. If you are watching for the first time my videos, please uh, do subscribe the channel for uh, more uh, interesting and good good content okay and uh, if you really like the content and uh, uh, enjoy the videos please do like it and uh, please share it with your friends also so that uh, channel will go further so here is the question given question like i think all of you tried now usually how we solve the simple pendulum questions the simple pendulum questions we solve uh, just by uh, taking the pendulum G effective concept actually see this is a simple uh, pendulum logic that is like if length of the pendulum is L mass of the bob is M then time period value we write down 2 pi into root of L by G so I'm not getting into the details of derivation okay so if I'm keeping the same pendulum in a lift let us say let us say lift is accelerating upward so uh, just I want to discuss a little uh, some of the cases of simple pendulum okay so then mg will act downward so this is the way what I follow and pseudo force will act downward ma because the lift is accelerating upward the pseudo force will act uh, opposite to it then the g effect we write down actually okay so the force net force acting other than the tension so I take the net force acting other than the tension so mg and ma both are in the same direction then by mass I think you understood so what is the force I am writing here the force is net force other than the other than tension we should not take the tension okay in equilibrium I mean so the calculation should be in the equilibrium only so then the g effect value will become uh, g plus a then time period value you can write down what is the time period value is 2 pi into root of l by g effective <coughs> then time period value is 2 pi into root of l by uh, g plus a i think uh, most of the people did by this time because as you are preparing for the j advance so i'm taking the one more case uh, for better clarity okay so now the pendulum is having the charge let us say plus q okay mass of the pendulum is n now it is kept above the uh, plate which is carrying the negative charge with sigma. Sigma is the charge density, you can take minus sigma also. So then under this condition, so one force will act mg in equilibrium and other force will be q into e where e is equal sigma by 2 epsilon naught because it is infinitely long plate if you take. Then q by sigma by 2 epsilon naught will be the force acting. Then the g effective calculation will be Hmm? mg plus uh, q into sigma by 2 epsilon naught by mass again then time period value you can calculate 2 pi into root of l by g effect then you will get it uh, like this you can find out the time period of simple pendulum whenever you have you have got the different scenarios by using the g effect to logic but in all scenarios one thing you need to understand that okay so we are taking the forces what are forces we are considering all the forces are in the uh, are in the same plane of the pendulum we are taking the forces in the plane of the pendulum only okay so if you take if you take mg and ma even if you take mg and qa so all will be in the same plane of pendulum that is very important so that observation uh, we uh, leads to solve the question easily whatever question i'm discussing uh, in this video okay so the forces should be in the should be in the same plane of pendulum okay same plane of uh, pendulum so this is the idea what we are going to use so let us see how to solve our question so this is the this is the thing what they have given right so now uh, actually the oscillation of the pendulum should be something like this see the string will be somewhat like this and after some time the string will be something in this way so I am unable to draw proper straight lines here okay so like this the pendulum will oscillate okay so this is one extreme position and this is other extreme position you can say this is the mean position so it keep on oscillating and we need to find out the time period of oscillation okay 
yeah so what is the time period of oscillation is uh, we need to find out by using the g effective in this case but g effective is little uh, tough as the arrangement whatever i have drawn so that's why i want to simplify the arrangement so instead of taking that what i do is i'll take this one if the pendulum is here now i'll take that one line connecting to the uh, bottom of the rod so i take the one more line which is connecting to the bottom of the rod so i can take something like this pendulum is oscillating in the plane of inclined plane i can take just imagine see actually oscillations are not in the plane of inclined plane but if you are considering the oscillations in the plane of inclined plane the time period for the oscillation of this red lines will be same as the time period of oscillation of the black lines see actual lines are not oscillating actually pendulum is oscillating but we are taking the uh, something like pendulum oscillations in the plane of inclination or in the plane of uh, you can say that inclined plane okay so with this idea we can solve the question very easily so uh, now i am going to take the pendulum oscillations okay in the plane of inclined plane only so if you want to take the uh, pendulum oscillation in inclined plane then what is the length of the pendulum here so the length of the pendulum would be this this length i want to find out so obviously this length is hypotenuse is l angle is beta then this is an adjacent side then what is the length value will become l cos beta at the same time what i told i told that previously okay so here you can see that the forces should be what forces should be in the same plane of the pendulum so we need to consider the forces which are in the plane of pendulum then here see mg is the force acting which is uh, vertically downward then what is the force acting in the plane of inclined plane here inclined plane inclination is alpha as given so the force acting in the plane of inclination is mg sin alpha so then this entire uh, oscillation of the pendulum given uh, pendulum oscillation can be taken as the pendulum oscillation with length of the pendulum is l cos beta with an force of how much mg sin alpha okay so as i told you g effective g effective can calculate the forces other than the tension the net force other than the tension other than the tension only one force is there that is mg sin alpha so mg sin alpha by m if i do then i'll get g sin alpha is the effective g value and what is the length of the pendulum is l cos beta then the time period of the pendulum given pendulum should be equal to root of l cos beta length by the uh, g effective which is g sin alpha so this is the required answer for the given question so hope you enjoyed the video so please share it with your friends and uh, don't forget to like the video if you really really like the content thank you so much we will meet with the another uh, beautiful question in the next week